For the first time ever, Sia Khaleesi walked onto the Kings Park turf, not as a member of the visiting team or the Springbok captain, but a new member of the Salsi Sharks. In 2021, Sia Khaleesi joins the Sharks as their newest big name recruit, leaving Western Province after 11 years of service to the Cape Town outfit. But now, Kings Park is his new home. The 2020 rugby season, which was heavily affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, has finally come to an end. And with it, there is a new sense of anticipation, change, new beginnings. And that is exactly what this move to the Sharks feels like for Sia Colisi, who explained it like going to his first day at school. One chapter closed and now I'm looking forward to the new chapter with me and my family. Um, I'm really excited to be here, especially um, from, from my rugby point of view. It feels like uh, my first day at school and um, I've got to start fresh again, you know, I've got to fight again. You know, that that feeling I had as, as a young boy when I started, you know, playing rugby and started playing professional and I've, I've got that same feeling again, you know, I think it's something that I need right now in my career. While Kings Park might feel like familiar surroundings, having played a few games for the Springboks here, Kings Park is very much a new home for Khaleesi as a provincial rugby player. Having spent 11 years at Western Province, the Springbok skipper admits the decision to leave was a tough one, but it did come at the right time in his career. Yeah, no, 100%. I believe change is good. Uh, change is good for everyone, and the timing of it is always uh, important. And yeah, he's it's really doing well. And, and no, it's, it's going to be a fight for all of us, you know, because it's amazing boots for all and That's why I'm saying, you know, I, what I did in the past doesn't really matter. It's all a new beginning for me, and I have to prove myself once again. And I really believe this is the perfect time for it, you know. Last year, for me as a rugby player, it was really tough, you know. This year as well, if it's not injuries. And, you know, I'm the biggest critic of myself, and, and I know, you know, if I... I don't do well on the field, everything else I do off the field, you know, it doesn't really matter. I really want to make sure that I'm fighting and I'm excited to be playing alongside guys like Noche and, and playing, you know, and fighting for a position with them. With the Springbok captain now here at Kings Park, a very pertinent question is who will lead the Sharks going into the new rugby season? Springbok centre Lukanya Am has done a fantastic job leading the side over the past year. Shark CEO Ed Kutsia says that the captaincy won't be going to Khaleesi as he first joins the Sharks so that he can find his feet at his new union. So I think you've got two questions there. The one is, do I see Sia as a captaincy option? And I think that one answers itself. I mean, Sia led the country to, to World Cup victory. So from that point of view, yes. Are we going to make Sia Khaleesi captain of the Sharks? Not at the moment. And the reason for that is we believe that we want to create an environment for, for Sia to thrive. And at that moment, that will be with the least amount of pressure possible. You know, the fact that Lukanya did an unbelievable job and that he's doing an unbelievable job makes that argument a lot stronger. But my, my discussion with Sia was, is like, he must come here. We're going to do exactly what we do to all our players. We're going to treat him unbelievably well. You know, we, we love to treat our players well because we believe if you treat someone well, you get, you get good results. You know, we looked at his situation as we look at every single player's situation when they come to the Sharks. Is unique so for Sia to add more pressure is not going to help him you know we want to create an environment where we take the pressure off we do the same with our coaches in a coaching environment we take the pressure off as much as possible you know even for all our players so we made that decision it was easy to make Sia Khaleesi captain because it I mean selfishly it would be an unbelievable thing for the Sharks and for the squad but for his best and his best interest we'll keep Lucanio and Lucanio is a great captain and they get on well I mean I don't want to force you to make friends with him but um, I know that because he also was in my ear hey is he coming can he come when's he coming you know so the two questions is your leadership option a leader chooses himself you know like he he will be in he will walk into a change room and he's a leader you know you don't appoint leaders leaders earn, earn the right to lead uh, Lucanio Amo will still be long story short Lucanio Amo will be the captain of the Sharks the 2019 Rugby World Cup may seem like a distant memory but the image of Sia Khaleesi lifting the William Webb Ellis Trophy is burned into every South African's mind. At this very moment, Khaleesi admits that lifting a trophy is the furthest thing from his focus. And he says that Springbok Director of Rugby, Russ Erasmus, uh, had some pretty simple words for him. Keep the main thing the main thing, focus on the rugby. And that is exactly what Khaleesi will be doing here at Kings Park.
all he, when I did speak to him, all he said, you know, like, just make sure the main thing stays the main thing, and that's his main thing. You know, you, that's been our, our our motto with with the with the team. As long as you're doing what you're supposed to do in the field, that's the most. Doesn't matter where you're playing. You just have to play your part. And and I know, like last year was difficult for me. I, I mean, you can't hide it. The the stats show it, and I'm the biggest critic of myself. And and I know what's important for me right now is to make sure that I prove to myself that you know. Um, and, and work as hard as I can to fight because I have to fight here. Nothing's going to be handed to me. And it was great speaking to Coach Sean. You know, he told me there's no pressure. I'm going to train as hard as I can, make sure I'm fit. And I believe when I'm fit, you know, I'm capable of doing anything. And that's what's going to happen now. I'm going to work hard, do uh, preseason. And the coach said, when I'm ready, he'll make sure that I, um, I start playing. He's not going to force me into playing next week or, or anything like that.